Hey there, Heightened Experience Gaming, it's your favorite Canadian gamer girl here, The Floor Hugger, and welcome back to episode 3 with me, The Floor Hugger, and today I want to talk about the Call of Duty lifespan. You can see I have some Call of Duty Black Ops 1 playing in the background, a little, is this Silo? I can't remember the map's names, but a little bit of Silo, I'm guessing, playing in the background for you to listen to and, or watch I mean, and think about what I'm saying to you. The Call of Duty lifespan is getting shorter and shorter. I have noticed this as somebody who has played, started playing on Black Ops 1. So Black Ops 1 was my first ever Call of Duty. I was in grade 12 when it came out and I started playing it about a month or two after it came out because all the guys in my class were talking about it and I'm like, I have to give this game a shot. So I started playing it and I loved it. And I still love Call of Duty Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3, not so much. Modern Warfare 2, I occasionally play it and toss it on. I have to go buy it if I want to play it again, but um, I'll play it. Black Ops 2. What is it? Seven months the game's been out? I haven't played it in a month. I have not found any fun in the game lately. I mean, the only fun I've found in the game is running with a full team or codcasting it myself, like codcasting the games. Other than that, I don't find any enjoyment in the game and it seems like the more these games go, the shorter the lifespan is getting and what is the next game going to be? Three months before it's no longer wanted to be played by anybody? Three months before the enjoyment is just gone and we're all coming back to the old Call of Duties? I mean, it in a way, it's making the company money either way, because we're still, we're all gonna buy the games, and we're gonna buy the old games just so we can play them and, and not have to play the new ones. I mean, it's a win-win for the company, but do you want your reputation tarnished, tarnished so much that your new game, people know it's going to be a piece of crap, so they would rather buy the old games instead at half the price? That's just my thoughts on it, you guys. What are your thoughts on the Call of Duty lifespan? What do you foresee, especially with the new Call of Duty quote-unquote ghost coming out? Codename Ghost. Well, I'm going to call it Codename Ghost because you know they can change the name just as easily as they can change the toilet paper on a roll. What do you guys think about the new lifespan of the game? What it's going to be and the lifespan of the old games? Do you still play some of the old games? I know, like I told you. I still do. I go back to Black Ops, and I have noticed, if you play the old games too, you will notice this. The old games are a lot slower paced than the new games, and they could keep up. I know everybody complains about the hit detection in Black Ops, and yeah, that's it's horrible, but they could keep up with the game. Black Ops 2 can't keep up with what's going on. There's so much going on, it's so fast that the game physically cannot keep up with itself, and there is tons of examples out there if you have no idea what I'm talking about. The game can't keep up with itself. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, I would even say Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3 runs real smooth right now, is so slower paced and the game could actually keep up and the game could run smooth and the game could do this and the game could do that. It is amazing that we can keep pushing the games to do this, we can keep pushing the games to do that, but at the same time, do we really want to be pushing our games so much that they are so poorly constructed that three months, six months, a year only is what people will play it for? I like Assassin's Creed where I can come back two months after- no, not two- sorry. Where I can come back two years after the game and still have enjoyment in it. I could play the game for two months straight, three months straight, and still have enjoyment in it. And I can't say that for Black Ops 2. Like, I dread getting on Black Ops 2. I hate it when people send me invites when I'm not on the game because I'm not going to come play. If I'm on the game already, okay. But I can foresee Call of Duty Ghost having a shorter lifespan 
if that's possible, than Black Ops 2. The only thing that's still propelling Black Ops 2 majorly is the competitive play and the competitive players on it. It's a small community, like I talked about in last week's video, uh, the FAL OSW is banned. It's a small community that is still keeping this game alive. And the casual players. But the people who play like uh, quote unquote hardcore gamers like myself were just not enjoying the game and I don't find it fun. So that's why I hardly play it. And I don't want, as much as I want Call of Duty to get off its high horse and collapse on itself, I don't want to see the game do that because I enjoy them. If I want realism, I'll play Battlefield. And I do play Battlefield. But the lifespan is getting shorter and shorter. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about the new Call of Duty, what its lifespan is going to be. If you, Like I said, if you still play the old Call of Duties, and what, like, what do you see foresee in the future if Call of Duty still keeps making the vi um, video games after Ghost? What do you foresee in the future for Treyarch, Activision, whatever they turn out to be? And I will see you guys next week. Remember to leave a comment along with what I just told you to do of what you want me to talk about next week. And I will see you guys next week for episode 4 with me, the floor hugger. And have a great weekend, you guys.